Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the full moon's been rising in the east over the last uh, couple of hours. A clear, moonlit, starry night, cool and dry, live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Not a raindrop or a thunderstorm nearby. We'll continue to keep the uh, quiet conditions this evening and uh, right on through the overnight as we take a look at uh, some of the things that we are tracking. Sorry. There we go. Help me. <laughs> All right, seasonable temperatures for one. I mean, pretty much, you know, where we should be for this time of year, kind of mild days and, and cool nights, you know, 60s during the day, 40s at night. Uh, each afternoon, though, local sea breezes. So while we are forecasting mild temperatures over the weekend, you know, places like Newport, the beaches and westerly, each afternoon the sea breeze comes in. Of course, the water is still chilly this time of year. So the coastline, though very nice this weekend, uh, will be cooler. And it's mainly a dry uh, weather pattern. We don't see uh, any big storms. Take a look at the time lapse in the sunset down at URI in Kingston and just a few fair weather clouds. Sunset time now getting later and later now at 740. Currently 47 on the campus of URI. Many locations now are in the 40s with clear skies and includes here in Providence at 48, Newport 46 and New Bedford coming in now at 47 degrees. Here's the wider view. Had a lot of showers today north of the uh, Mass Pike, especially up in the northern New England, which have since dried out. But you can see all this real estate of generally clear and quiet weather across New England, upstate New York and Pennsylvania. So this bodes well as far as getting uh, some more sunshine coming up for tomorrow. Temperatures not bad. Um, starting off um, in the 40s right now, but dropping down to in some cases, especially on northern suburbs into the upper 30s from Smithfield out towards Boroughville and Foster. You get closer to the south shore, uh, low temperatures down to the mid and upper 40s. This is around six o'clock in the morning, so no surprise early in the morning. It starts off cool, but sunshine gets to work and inland areas are going to top out in the mid 60s. And then once the sea breeze kicks in, especially later in the afternoon, the south shore will start to cool, cool off. So it's kind of a like a light jacket, sunglasses, the weather gear for places like Newport, but uh, still a very nice day. And then tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, temperatures will settle back into the uh, upper 50s to eventually the 40s. So again, it's that kind of a theme where it's 60s in the afternoon and 40s late at night. So the future cast for the overnight, just more of the same clear skies, cool and dry as temperatures bottom out to the upper 30s to low 40s by daybreak. Plenty of sunshine tomorrow morning. Very cool if you're an early riser, but it should warm up nicely through the 50s during the morning, then eventually topping out at 65 in the afternoon. You'd have to be several miles though away from the ocean to, to achieve that high temperature. You know, south breeze coming in at around 10 to 15. So again, looking good for your Saturday. Here's the hour by hour breakdown. 8 a.m. 49, noon 61, and by 4 o'clock in the afternoon, looking good at 65. Green light on all outdoor activities for Sunday as well. Sunday is a warmer day, upper 60s. The Imagine Walk for Autism, the 11th annual walk at Garden Memorial Park in Warwick. 10 a.m. to kickoff time, and at that time, temperature at around 55, and then warming up well into the 60s. Our own Danielle North, honorary chairperson uh, for that walk this year, and that the quiet weather extends into Monday as well. Then extra clouds and cooler weather by Tuesday and Wednesday, but what you don't see on that seven-day future cast, a lot of rain, uh, nor do we see very cold temperatures, so 60s in the day and 40s at night. Sounds good.